slash 74 gzx 3 w
the men's side of the room might be thinking I.O. But probably not. He does have some quite equal. Uh, Did a little bit similar. Okay, this is not how you normally compile these programs, but I tried to decide to cheat, and I'll tell you guys about how to do it the real way, but I want to do it the quick way.
there you go, you see it, it's going 0, 5, 15, 30, and 50, which would go with the I times A implementation. Is this case sensitive? Is it case sensitive? I can put print lower case. You, yeah, actually it is, it is case sensitive. You cannot put lower case print, you have to put upper case. And there's even more to it than that, but the case matters. That takes us to control statements. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, go use the if and the switch statement to do logical control. Um, the if statement works just like C, except no parentheses. So you have if x is less than zero, i plus five. The switch statement works a little different. Um, it can be any, like you can take any expression in, so it doesn't just have to be an int, you can have it send it in a string, you can send it in whatever you, pretty much whatever you want, you can send it in to the switch statement as this condition. And then um, it, does, it also has an automatic break statement, so you don't have to worry about code falling through like you do in C. Like if you don't include the break statement in C, every condition in your switch statement will run and can create awful problems for you. But, and the only way, way it will do that is if you use the keyword fault. So it looked like a case, um, inside the case statement, say like case one, colon, and then you have your expression and you say fault through. And it would just go down, continue to execute the next case as well. If you have fault through through all of them. Does um, go switch statements handle those strings? Yeah, anything. It doesn't have to be. Um, doesn't have to be an int. Okay. So are you jumping in the uh, variable types? I don't know if you not talked about oh, them. Okay, um, basically, it's basically the same types as like Java. Like you have like int, but you have like like there's an int 32, there's an int 16, there's like you have like different kinds of ints you can declare. You can have different kinds of long, different kinds of like based on the number of bits you want in the whole. So you have 64 bit int if you want. So it, in that aspect, Go is actually a lot nicer than, than Java because Java has a limit on how big, like up to I think it's what two mil billion something like that per integer, and because I think it's based off of a 32 bit, yeah. so you can go 64 bit, take it up That's cool. even more. So and.